Um, the problem is that I know I have several fractures in this area here. I have the limestone up here. I don't know how deep it's going. So I may have to remove this part here. And this is very thin. So um, I'm going to try to peel that part out and probably have a um, what we call a platform which is the surface I'll be hitting in the hope to remove these long blanks along the side, one edge or the other. Now, this is fractured, so part of that has to go. And I'm going to try to do this. by removing a series of short flakes. And you can see how the material is not homogeneous. It has a lot of inclusions in it, be careful because it's sharp, as opposed to that delicious chocolatey Sure, that is very, very good. <laughs> so, um, I will be dealing with a material that is slightly um, less good than this one here. But I'm going to try anyway. See, the fracture is, is completely, um, I hit it up here and it's fractured in a V fashion down here, that is very strange. So, right, I'm trying to remove the um, irregularities up here. And then I'll need eventually to peel it back that way. But uh, to peel it back, the goal here is not to remove big, thick flakes like this one here, but rather thinner ones. That's the kind of support I'm hoping to remove somewhere alongside this edge probably, right? So I just need to peel it back. The goal, when you want to make blades, it's not difficult to make one blade. What is difficult is to make a series of blades. And for that, you need to shape the block in a very specific way. 